Mashallah. The other one was, other uniform was played anywhere. Eh? It's good to get new ones. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. When I, when I tested for, uh, Go out there. They still have to sweat, take beatings, get cut, 
rough it up. Action. Knowledge needs action. Knowledge is a popular saying, saying that goes in knowledge is power, but it's not right. Knowledge by itself is not power. Knowledge with action is power. If you just have knowledge and don't do anything, it's like Allah says to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it's like a donkey with books. Useless. Right? So all these years that you've been training hard, you've gained something. Right? You have to act upon it. You have to share with people. Allah chose you three among many. Many hundreds came through these doors of Akaba Karate and left. Even when I was training, a lot of people were on my sides. By the time I came to my testimony, people were gone. So Allah, I, I, I like to believe there's something special in you guys. And I gave a lot of credit to my own teachers who taught me, way before when I was Asman's age. And, and if you see good in my teaching, and the teaching of your teachers, Brother Hanan and uh, the Jamal, is, is credit to their teachers as well. Because they took time off to teach them. And now we are taking time off to teach you as a tribute to them as well. My grandmaster, the previous association, association reminded me when I was getting um, promoted to second dan, the ego is the number one killer of black girls. Ego is the number one killer of black girls. In our studio there's a saying, we wrote down a quote saying that a black girl never quits, right? People quit. People quit. Even black girls quit. Only the ones who have lost the attitude. So what you're training for is really the black girl attitude. It's not the belt. It's not your skills. Because when you get older, right, you may not be able to do these things anymore. Jumping, rolling, tumbling. But if you have the attitude, that will stay with you. And that's what you need, that's what the community needs. I want to thank all the community members that are here to support these young brothers. I want to thank Dar Salaam for giving us the opportunity to set up such a wonderful program over here. Definitely without, without their broad vision, this program would not be possible. And most of all, for you guys, thank your parents. Big time. You can never, <coughs> never thank them enough. And from my side, I want to thank the wives of the teachers, Sister Khadija, Sister Wendy, and my wife Aisha, <coughs> for your patience. For your patience and understanding from the time that we put here to teach you guys. He has a full time job, but Jamal has a full time job. They do all their work and then they come here to make time for you. And Wallah, when you guys, if you ever miss class for, for any reason, we feel it. We feel it. We come here because we love you guys. It's not the tuition. I like for you guys to think that you owe us more. Then the payment you better do for tuition. And the same happened with your students. It's a feeling you should be able to instill in your students. It's never the money. You understand? 